Okay, right out the gate, I saw something that I, I liked a lot. Okay, Leo? It was the King of Wands. This is your overall energy, all right? So we're focusing on two houses right now. The second house, which talks about material things, it talks about security, it talks about your assets, right? The 10th house is gonna focus more on things like your career, your legacy, your life purpose. So we're gonna get an overall energy about all of these things, and then we're gonna break them down one by one. So your overall energy is the King of Wands. The King of Wands is someone that is so honorable. He does what is right for the masses and certainly for himself. He does the honorable thing. What I love about the King of Wands is that he is a free spirit. So he's going to express himself. He's going to express the ideas and he's comfortable in his own skin. And Leo, that is why I feel like this is really who you are, right? I feel like you guys come out, you're very confident, all right? And you guys are easily expressive, but there's something different about it this time. I feel like not only are you expressing what's right for you, I feel like this time you're expressing what's right for the masses. And this is why it brings a little different tone to it, all right? So I do see this. And I ask myself, what has changed with Leo, because although you've always been expressive, you've always been confident, there's like this, this tone where it's almost like you're speaking for the masses. You're doing what's right for the greater good of all, which I gotta be honest, a lot of times you're doing what you gotta do for you and it's like, like it or leave it. And maybe not so much in a negative way, but I feel like this time you've opened up just a little bit more of your heart, a little bit more of your giving in this season. So when I went to clarify, we did get the Queen of Wands or the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords, as you know, is someone that cuts shit out that no longer serves him or her. And so when I looked back at your reading in my mind, I was thinking there was a lot of chaos that was around you in the month of May going into June. And you cut off a lot of dead weight. And I think once you cut off that fat, it gave you a lighter disposition. It made you feel like you could breathe again. It made you feel like you could walk out freely with your confidence. Because I think that there was a little bit of anger because you felt very you felt like you were smothered, okay? You felt like you, you couldn't spread your wings. You felt like everything that you said and did was criticized, where it never really bothered you before. It bothered you this time because it was always being thrown in a negative and you were in tight quarters. There was a lot of people around you that were in the negative and honestly, Leo, were against you. So I feel like at this point in time, you cut off a lot of that, and now you feel like you can do the honorable thing, not only for yourself and for others. And I think there's a sense of gratitude for the people that did understand during the darkest hours that you have encountered as of late. So I see you as being very free, very light, doing the, the honorable thing, having some loyalty towards some people that you felt were loyal to you. So with that being said, I commend you, Leo. I really do. Now, when it comes to work, we have the Ten of Pentacles, which is another great vibe that I'm getting from you guys. I feel like for some of you, there have been some higher ups in your work that have come to you to commend you for a job well done. If they haven't come to you, Leo, I feel like they're speaking to others to say, hey, do you know what Leo did? Can you believe how fast Leo is getting this done? Look at the quality of what Leo has produced here. So I almost feel like you're like the talk of the town. It could be right into your face. It could be right behind your back. When it comes to your work environment, I feel like people see the quality of your work. They don't underestimate it at all. And I feel like 
they are appreciating you from afar or possibly letting you know to your face, which is amazing. So I'm also seeing that there could be other offers from other companies. I see emails, I see calls for interviews. Um, you're looking really impressive right now to a lot of people. And that is, that is a positive, okay? Um, but yeah, I feel like this is a job well done. Some of you are up for raises, bonuses, because of the work that you have put in. Now, I did do a little bit of clarifying. And I loved it. I loved what I saw. We have the Five of Pentacles, and I'm going to keep it in reverse. Sometimes I usually turn it right side up just so I can, you know, read it and you guys can see it. Um, but I want you to see how you went from the Five of Pentacles, which is feeling left out in the cold, not having any resources, right, to the Ten of Pentacles. So I feel like in seasons past, you know, you did feel like you were isolated or that you need to isolate yourself. You did feel like there was a level of rejection or gossip or or something, people up against you, okay? But then it was like you waited for your ships to come in. I feel like for some of you, again, I feel like you were like, you know what? I'm going to isolate myself and I'm going to do what I need to do for me. And I think that a lot of you did that, all right? And you waited for your ships to come in. And for some of you, you're still waiting for your ships to come in. And you are going to hit that 10 of pentacles status. So if you are still, you know, feeling like you're on the outside and, you know, you don't have a lot of money or a lot of, you know, options when it comes to work, that sort of thing, just know if you're not there already, the 10 of pentacles is coming and you are going to get out of this isolation. You are going to get out of you know, this not having, not having resources, not having money, and just wait until your ships come in, because it's definitely going to equate to the Ten of Pentacles eventually. So I hope that's a little encouraging to someone out there. Okay, so let's take a deeper look here. Deeper look, please. Yes, you guys are doing it. So the end result here is the star all right the star card um this is very amazing because again this is telling you do not lose hope this is telling you that you know whatever's coming is destined to come so you guys just need to hold on um for some of you you are the star again you guys are the star of what's going on okay you guys are looked at as the little the literal star okay in your company within the work that you're doing so just know that you all you need to do is keep the faith okay some of you have to take a leap of faith and yeah you're waiting for your ships to come in there's a po perfect opportunity coming in for you leo just know that okay so beautiful beautiful energy guys so let's go ahead and move forward um Let's see, what do I want to use here? What do I want to use? I'm letting the cards speak to me and tell me what they want to do. All right, let's go ahead and use the power deck. I'm going to look at the power deck when it comes specific to work. And sometimes it flows into a little bit of career, but let's see what they have for you. Wow. Wow, wow, and wow. All right. All right. We're going to take this one. This one surfaced first. Okay, it's called Illumination. It says, as darkness comes, the mirrors of your spirit reflect different images. It is the time when the world changes and your being begins to glow. Reflect on the new vision that has been living on the perimeter of your consciousness. An idea is stalking you and awaits your invitation a place within you to begin life. The totality of your creativity comes after you have begun your work on the sacred painting of your life. It is then that the muses of inspiration surround you like eagles and cheer you on to illumination. Take responsibility for your work and your life. 
and then illumination will follow. Wow. I mean, it's just like the star, you know? You guys are being illuminated, okay? You're being illuminated. And, and I feel like this is what needed to happen. You know, a lot of you were in a situation in the month of May, in June, in, in the beginning, and some of you are still there, where you're feeling like you can't really move. You're feeling like you can't really breathe. But you're going through a process here of activation, which will lead to illumination. All right. And so it it begins here. It begins here for you, Leo. But there's definitely, definitely some great things to come for you. OK, definitely. I can feel it and I can see it. All right. So let's move into career. Now, with this deck here, this is the life purpose. And I tell people all the time, the life purpose deck um, is a very unique deck because there are some specific um you know life purpose suggestions that sort of thing um the difference between a job a job is typically something that we do just to make money maybe it's not you know the most favorite thing we would want to do something that we might not want to do forever you know but a career is something that you really usually have like a passion for you're really good at um and it really is something that you should be thinking that you could do for a long period of time, if not forever. Life purpose is something that's always there with inside of us. And so your life purpose should really be the thing that drives you into your particular career. Okay, because you want to wake up and feel inspired and motivated by what it is that you do every day. Your paycheck should literally feel like a bonus to what you're doing. So if you're still trying to find out what it is for your career, maybe there'll be some confirmations here, some suggestions. A lot of times people think, oh, I just do that for a hobby. Well, guess what? Some of you don't realize that that is your life purpose that you can turn into a career. Some of you want to know, am I in the right career? Is this what my life purpose entails? There might be some confirmation to that for you today. Some of you are still searching, really, really searching. You know, you're still in jobs or, you know, you're going to school. There could be some guidance in here for, for all of you here, okay? So again, pick up what I'm putting down that does resonate and simply leave the rest. But let's see what we got here. This will speak specifically, specifically to some people um, and not so much to others, but there are some cards in here that could certainly speak to the collective as a general okay so they'll go clicking off and say oh this isn't for me i don't like animals you know <laughs> don't do that don't do that just just hang in there leo because there's something for everyone okay first card out love and light your purpose is to bring divine healing light and love to this world yeah so for a lot of you no matter what it is that you're getting into or are into um, studying, you know, trying to start whatever for you, it, it has to shed some light and love. OK, that is the life purpose for a lot of you, no matter what it is that you want to go into. If it don't shed light and love, it's not going to work for you. And that you'll know if you're if you're a person that no matter where you go, you're always shedding the light. You're always bringing the love. OK, you guys, you guys know that you guys do that a lot. You know, you guys do shed a lot of light because you are really expressive. You do tell the truth. And you guys are known to be very loving, you know, Leo the lion, all those sort of things. So you guys have to be doing things that you love to do. You have to be doing some things where you can express yourself, educating people, bringing things to light, that sort of thing. Next thing, you're on the right path, all right? So for some of you that literally are going to school or just got into your career or have been in into your career for a long period of time and you're questioning, you'll know if this is resonating with you. If you've been questioning if you're on the right path it says keep doing what you're doing 
because it's working. So if you are going to work and um, it's your career or you started a business and it's going well, don't second guess yourself. A lot of times you're second guessing yourself because your mind is not adjusting to the positive change. All right, keep going. So I wanna just encourage you guys to understand how you know if you're on the right path or not. A lot of times we don't know, but all we simply need to do is talk to our angels, okay? Ask them. Instead of worrying, ask for divine guidance, all right? So if you don't know and you're so confused, talk to your angels, all right? The other guidance that we have here is Oracle cards. This has been coming up for a lot of different um, zodiac signs. Some of you are light workers in your own right. Some of you have been thinking about starting your own business that comes to do with spirituality. Some of you have been thinking about doing your own YouTube channels. Some of you are just using Oracle cards and spiritual works to get your guidance. Okay, whatever it is, however it fits to you, you're on the right path, okay? If you need that guidance, remember I said at the end of the day, it is your own discernment. It's your own decision to make. But if you're looking at this from a standpoint of starting a business or a career that has to do with Oracle cards, this might be your confirmation. Some of you are thinking about just selling them. Some of you are thinking about opening a metaphysical shop. I'd, there's all, These cards don't come out much, like the Oracle cards and the crystal and the spiritual teacher, but they've been coming out quite a bit. But I think that a lot of people are getting woke in this type of spirituality. So, you know, I'm not that surprised. But um, for some of you, let go. All right. Some of you, it's time to let go. It says walk away from the situation in order to resolve it. So for some of you, you know, it don't feel right. It's not going right. It's too excruciating to get up each morning. You're going through hella bull, you know, let it go. If it's something that comes to career that you've been trying to get off of the ground and it just is not getting there. If it's a business you've been trying to start and this has been going on for years and years and years and years. All right, you might want to let that idea go, step away for a minute and really, really try to hear what your higher self is trying to say. Maybe you need to do it a little bit better, a little bit different or go in a whole nother direction. But don't fight against the current when it comes to your career. This should be something that comes easily to you, it should be something that you're great at doing something that you wouldn't mind doing wouldn't mind doing for free and like i said totally forget about the paycheck because it's that enjoyable to do you're that passionate about it all right so some of you have just got to let go some of you are thinking about it too hard and overlooking what is being told to you from your higher self those are the ideas that are coming to you and saying hey you know you're really good at this hey, I really like this, but I couldn't make a career out of it because it doesn't make a lot of money. All that, what you're thinking, like if you're trying to tell yourself, you know, your purpose ain't your purpose, that ain't gonna work. So some of you gotta let go and step back and right back to this. It's time for you to talk to your angels, time to get some higher information, higher wisdom from the divine because some of you are talking yourselves right out of your purpose and some of you are going into all these different careers that have nothing to do with your life purpose. So it's time to figure it out, okay? So here we go. I hope that that helped y'all. <laughs> I really do. All right, let's get some guidance here from the Starseed Oracle, which is one of my newer faves. Here, let's see what they have to say. A lot of people are like, how do, how do I find my purpose? And I'm like, your purpose is always there. You just got to sit down, be quiet, pay attention, and it'll click. It's always with you. It's just, it's waiting on for, you know, it's just waiting for you to, you know, wake up and decide to hear it. All 
All right. So what do we have? Yep. First one that flipped is baby steps. It says action. Follow your in, your intuition before it makes sense. Yeah, some of you just got to take those baby steps and really, really just do it. Because I feel like for some of you, you know what it is, but you're, again, talking yourself out of it. It's baby steps. You have to use your own intuition before it's all planned out. Just, you know, take that leap of faith. This is what this star card was talking about. Taking the leap of faith. Okay. All right, so let's go into this here. Longing for home, homesick for the stars. Yeah, some of you literally are on a whole nother level. Um, for some of you, this won't even make sense because I'm someone that is into like the whole star seed, past lives, all that type of stuff. But for some of you, you are having a harder time down here on this thing called Earth because you have such a large um, life purpose, a life journey that you don't even remember, okay? You don't even remember you've signed this contract to come down here and do such a great, big, huge thing, okay? And this is why these little, you know, jobs to you, you know, this is why this career um, and trying to figure it out seems like, you know, what is it all for? Because you have a bigger purpose, okay? So I don't know who this is for, but I know that you're watching because I, I can feel your energy. And if you've been feeling like, you know what, this world is so effed up or this is so crazy. I don't even feel like I belong here. If you start questioning yourself about like, do I even want to be here? Do I even want to be in the United States of America? Do I even want to be in, you know, India? Do I even want to be here? Like, do I even want to be here anymore? And it starts off slow. First, it's you don't even know if you want to be in your job. Then it's you don't even know if you want to be in your city. Then you don't even know if you want to be, you know, in your country. And then it's like, what does this all mean? You know, what is life? Those questions. Some of you have a bigger purpose. And so it's more difficult for you guys to figure this out. Okay. But you do have to tap into your higher self and ask your angels and ask for divine guidance because your journey is definitely more unique than other people's okay so i whoever that's for i hope that makes sense